The first part of this experiment is carried out in the fume hood. We start by clamping a separating funnel in the fume hood, adjusting the height, making sure the tap is closed and placing a beaker underneath just in case there are any leaks. We measure out 12 milliliters of 2-methyl-2-propanol, also called tertiary butyl alcohol, and pour this into the separating funnel. Next, we measure out 30 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid in a separate graduated cylinder. And carefully pour this into the alcohol that is already in the separating funnel. Once bubbling has ceased, we take the separating funnel out of the clamp, put a stopper on top and turn it upside down, open the tap to release any gas. We start shaking very gently and release any gas being produced in this reaction. Once no more gas is being released, we can start shaking for about 12 to 15 minutes. <clears throat> At the end of the shaking, we clamp the funnel, take off the stopper and drain the bottom layer, which is the aqueous layer. We drain the liquid until the interface between top and bottom layer is just above the tap or inside the tap. Next, we measure out 8 milliliters of sodium hydrogen carbonate solution. This is used for washing our organic extract. We carefully pour the carbonate solution into the separating funnel where we might have leftovers from our hydrochloric acid, so there will be some carbon dioxide produced. We take the separating funnel out of its clamp, add the stopper and immediately turn it around and open the tap to release the gas that is being produced. Slowly we'll increase the shaking rate, but make sure that we release any gas being produced. Once no more gas is being produced, this process is done. We clamp the funnel again, take the stopper off, and drain the aqueous layer. We then repeat the washing process with 8 milliliters of distilled water. We measure out the water in a graduated cylinder, add this to our separating funnel and shake the mixture for a minute or two. Again, we have to release any build up pressure periodically. Clamp the flask, remove the stopper and drain the aqueous layer again. This time we want the interface inside the tap so that we have pure organic phase in our separating funnel. 
retrieve a dry conical flask from the bench and pour our organic extract into the flask. We do not drain it, we pour it out the top of the separating funnel. Once we've added a bung on top of the flask, we can take it to the bench. We add a good spatula full of anhydrous sodium sulfate into our flask. This will remove any dissolved or transferred water. We give the mixture a good shake and we might have to add some more sodium sulfate if the solution is not dry yet. We can tell it's dry when the sodium sulfate is floating in powdery form in our mixture and the solution is clear. Next we set up the distillation. We carefully decant the organic phase from the sodium sulfate into a round bottom flask. It's important not to get the white solids into our round bottom flask. Then we clamp this flask into a heating mantle making sure it's in touch with the heating mantle and not just floating above it. We add a few boiling chips into our solution. Next we add a still head on top of the flask and insert a thermometer on top of the still head. Barb of the thermometer should sit where the side arm branches off. Next we assemble the condenser. We add two water hoses onto the condenser. The bottom one is for the water coming in. The top one is for the water outlet. We need to clamp the condenser into a position, which um, is a little bit difficult because it sits, has to sit just right so it fits together with the still head without any tension and without any gaps. We attach the bottom holes to the tap and very slowly turn the water on. This is to ensure that the hose doesn't pop off with sudden water pressure. We add an outlet piece to the end of the condenser and then we put a vial underneath the outlet piece. You can adjust the height with a cork ring so that the outlet reaches into the vial. We take a second vial and label it appropriately. This sample vial needs to be weighed with its cap and we write down the mass on our notes sheet. Now we can start the distillation by turning on the heating mantle. Once we reach the boiling range, we swap the vials over and start collecting our product. We watch the temperature and make note of the temperature range of the distillation. Once no more product is coming over or we're getting out of the range, we stop the distillation and remove the product vial from the end of the outlet. We weigh the filled vial again and can calculate the mass of product. We 
we disassemble the apparatus by turning off the water, taking the outlet piece off the end and removing the holes from the tap. Now we can drain the condenser and take the rest of the apparatus apart.